Okay, here we go. Welcome back to some more Gotham Nights. Hope you all are well, had a great weekend, and that your Monday wasn't too blue. Remember to subscribe, hit that like button, leave me a comment, and enable notifications. And thanks to all that have subscribed already. Um, so, I'm going to do that uh, where I'm going to show you the um, suits for all the characters, different colorways, what it looks like. So let's get into it. I might do it in two different videos, um, see how long it takes. Maybe do two characters for this video and two characters for another video. Okay. So first off, uh, let me show you something that I've learnt. Um, a few things actually that I've learnt. So the first thing is a database. And if you go to guidebook, gear. So they mentioned it um, a little bit and you might have seen it um, when you're at the blueprints or the crafting, but there is a chance of enhancing the gear. So what that is, is, uh, and this is also this other thing that I learned is if you've got a blueprint, even if it is already in your inventory, you can craft it again. So when you craft it, um, and it does seem uh, that legendary actually has a higher chance of being enhanced than the normal ones. But then when you craft it, it will tell you. So let's see and load it if I've got any already. Um, doesn't look like I've got any yet. Now it enhances the stats a little bit. Um, I don't have that n much nymph metal. Let's see with, uh, with this one if I can actually manage it. Okay, nope. Also, if it is already in your inventory and you craft it again, then it does replace that one. There's it will be dismantled and replaced with this one. There we go. Okay, so you want to look for that um, that gear with the up sign right next to it. And um, if you go to loadout, wrong button. So if you go to loadout there's the gear with the up next to it. So that's how you know when it's been enhanced. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that. Uh, first off, that you can recraft blueprints if you want. And then, like I say, the enhanced gear and stuff. Okay, then the other thing that I learned, um, like I said in the other video, is this is just for interest sake. you can pause and read this but this is just if you finish it says the crime is all, all time low and everything uh, database sorry and um, if you go to crimes now this I found out and it helps a lot with if you really want to farm specific gear So, like I said, it's um, an exclusive weapon blueprints focusing on damage. Uh, that's defense. Uh, he's just salvage. And then the watch especially, like I say, you can see which one gives incendiary gear, cryogenic gear, bioelectric, toxic, and concussive. Now, the other thing is that I wanted to show you that really makes it easier to farm is if you see um, there I've got one at the moment okay 
and now the reward is going to be a ranged legendary okay and then what he gives uh, I think he gives the um, He gives the bioelectric. So if you want bioelectric, then... Okay. So now, remember, he gave um, the arranged... So all I did is I changed to a character. And... Now oh, it's the range again. Of course, that would happen now. There we go, see, now it is um, the melee weapon. And so you can just change characters and cycle through it until you get, like if you want to go for the suit, you can go until you get the suit. Or if you want specifically the melee weapon, the melee weapon, and so forth. So that makes farming for it a little bit easier. Okay, then the other thing is... Have we cleared everyone Harley helped, Alfred? There have been no further fatalities due to Dr. Krimzel's experimentation. That's a relief. Okay. So, if you see here... Uh, Okay, it's just the showdown ones now. Um, if you see with gear now, styles, colorways, I still haven't unlocked these ones. But I've done all the... Um, if you see there, I've done all the crafting and challenges. Um, all I've got now is the contacts and the Gotham's most wanted. Now those colorways you unlocked with these showdowns. And the chroma black one, the one that I really want is the Tariel Ghoul one. Also you do get um, level 60 gear for the Tariel Ghoul one, a legendary. And apparently it's a A lot of pharmaceuticals, apparently. Well, that adds up. Not great, though. Don't worry, they got it all back. For some reason, the freaks left it all in one place with a pay-what-you-can sign. You gotta love their lack of organization. Um, so, apparently it's like for each one there's a specific legendary suit, but it doesn't look any different. Um, it's just a different name, but it's if you complete it, it gives you this, uh, this Talia one specifically gives you level 60 gear for all of them and um, apparently 3000 lymph mendel. Uh, the Dr. Freeze one I think gives about level 45 um, or 40 legendary gear and so forth with the other ones. And there are people that with level 40 legendary gear complete the Talia Ghoul one. I'm pretty sure they'll keep a closer eye on her. Oh, she'll probably come up with some new way to give the warden a hard time. She wouldn't want her to get bored after all. Okay, so I'm gonna go outside the in, in the night patrol and show you the suits there. Um, just quickly for intersex, I've been promising to do this so I'll give it now. The new guard is um, the new guard night, wa uh, night watch and beyond. Uh, the new guard is you get that when you start that's the one your character have has on when they go find 
Bruce in the Batcave and the cinematic starts and everything. Um, the Night Watch and Beyond suit is what you get for buying the deluxe pack or uh, the Night Watch is with the Visionary pack as well. Um, it's designed by comic legend Jim Lee, both of them. Um, so yeah, okay, that's how you get those two, the Transmogs. Then the Metal Privateer, uh, Neonar, and Eternal. Um, they all are part of that crafting challenge, the first one that you get. So with them you just have to do Nightwatch, play Nightwatch, defeat uh, enemies until you get the blueprint and then craft it and then you get them and you unlock the transmog for them. The Talon suit is the one that um, you unlock by getting those, uh, using those uh, key and then uh, unlocking the talent caches and if you get all five of them then the transmogs unlocks. Okay then the demon and the Shinobi are also crafted. It's the same as the Eternal and those ones, but they more or less come later in the game when you uh, progress with the main story to more or less where you encounter the League of Shadows. Then you have to find them and craft them again, and then you unlock the transmog. Okay, uh, year one. The year one. This is probably the coolest one for me looking on Robin on Tim Drake, uh, that and the Nightwood one. Year one, you get for finding all the battle ranks. Uh, the Night Ops is uh, you get that for finding all of those secret caches with Bruce of the audios. Um, when you unlock the night ops. And the Titan one is if you do their, uh, finish their own knighthood quest, then you get the Titan one. I think that's all of them covered. Okay, and then the easiest way to get the Beyond suit is, um, like I say, it's early access more or less for the deluxe, but as soon as you complete Lucius Fox's uh, thing, every time you do and go to him, you get a heroic um, Beyond suit. But the legendary is better than the heroics anyways. Okay. So, like I said, I'm just going to go outside and then I'll show you some of these suits and see how far we get. Okay. Some light here. Uh, might be too glaring, but anyways. Okay, so this is what he normally looks like in it and uh, the beyond suit um, I say it's I'm not one the ease is probably the least favorite for me of the beyond suit the others are pretty much like how the beyond suit looks um, and then the beyond suit that's probably the best that it looks on him is a transmog one. Um, oh, sorry. 
Okay, so uh, styles. Okay, you've got the different colorways. Luckily, even though they're not unlocked yet, I can't show you what they look like. It looks like Green Lantern, or my, oh, not Green Lantern, Green Martian. It looks pretty cool as well. Okay, and then colors that one. The hair looks kind of like ridiculous. There's another one. There's a sign. Gloves. That's what this one looks like. And that's what number three looks like. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, demon suit. Uh, let's show you quickly. Okay. So this is what the Talon one looks like. I say some people do like it, I do not. And then I say this night watch, this is also one that this is how it looks, there's nothing you can change about it, and it's not a suit, it's just a transmog. Okay. Not like how that looks. Okay, so you've got the... Very orange in the bright light. This might be my favorite of how it looks. But yeah, the cow doesn't add a lot to this one because of the hood that's over it. This is the year one. It's almost like a flash. This does not look like a Robin, by the way.
He looks better, but that thing on the back of his head looks kind of ridiculous to me. And then, uh, sorry. Number three looks almost exactly the same as number one. Just different color. Oh, Shinobi. Yeah, I like the red and black together. Interesting. This is if you want to go for the Ryu or something look. Once again, the hood is like covers everything more or less that the cow doesn't really matter that much. And sometimes the... Let me know, are you okay with like just seeing it here, do you prefer seeing it on the outside? Almost looks like a metal arm. <laughs> I actually like how this Neo Nord looks as well. And it even looks kind of okay with the greenish. This one, the Jason one, like the Todd one, like actually look better. Yeah, so that's his hair looks pretty cool in this. Uh, there's another cowl. Oh, I think that looks pretty cool. Gear uh, style. This is the stick it on with glue. <laughs> so he doesn't change anything in this one. It's the same for all of them. That probably looks the best for me, the cowl, the mask. Okay. Um, your one. See, a lot of his are with the hood up, and then I don't really... The cowl is barely any way noticeable. That looks pretty nice. Does that R on his arm change? Oh, I like these gloves. You know, I like the gloves with the spike things on. The fins, the... Yep. I 
Which was actually an easier way to get to gear and stuff. But anyways, okay. Titan. And a few more suits to go through. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I think he pretty looks pretty good in this one in the green and stuff. It suits him. Okay, cow symbol. Uh, this is the symbol you hardly ever notice. Oh, there's the full helmet thing again. I have to admit, with these, some of these masks, the nose is just too pointy. It might actually look pretty cool. I think that one might, well for me at least. Okay, uh, style, cow. Another symbol, gloves. I so say that looks very flash like for me or something. Robot. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like those. Color wise, they're not my favorite, but yeah. Yeah, I like those things on the arms. Okay, so yeah, see, this is the one that you start with when you start the game. Yeah, it just looks better. It's a better red for me. It's not that bright. That one looks also pretty nice. I like the blue in it. Okay, and then cow. Sorry. Uh, that looks pretty cool. That's very red. Uh, this one looks pretty mean. Uh, this one seems like they can hurt. Here. Uh, 
I should bring a vest for me. But this privateer set was one of my least favorites, actually. That looks very cool as well, but very bright. That's what it looks like. That thing under the chin looks very uncomfortable. I would not be able to wear that. I would be tugging it all the time. It looks better. Gold. <laughs> this looks like a very Halloween mask. Like the masquerade ball. And then lastly, the night ops. This one seems to be changing the least of all of colors and stuff. It looks very policeman-like. No, it looks like Nightwing almost. And I know those are Nightwing's colors, but yeah. Okay, so... Yeah, this one really not a fan of this one. Very little of it changes actually. Yeah, those are blades, they're not even like fins or anything, they're just blades. But we knock them out, we don't slash them, we just knock them out with those blades. I don't know how, but yeah, we do. And that's all for Robin. going to stop the video there um, rather than start one and then have to stop it in the half of it or something uh, in the next video I'll try and do all three the knights that left and show you their suits and stuff uh, it took a little bit longer to show you what I've learned and how to unlock those other colorways and how it works so like I say, this is just a little filler video, just to show you what the suits look like and stuff, and give you some information about what I've learned and make it easier to farm stuff. So see you in the next video, hope you all are well, and be safe.